welcome back to my channel and if you're new hey what's up my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video this video shout out goes to Priscilla Gonzalez I'm pretty sure I said that right I hope I did I'm so bad at butchering names you guys know this by now but Priscilla welcome to the Fawn squad Fawn fam Fawn community it is so amazing to have you be a part of this and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button it honestly means everything to me you guys have all been such rock stars and I truly appreciate it more than you will ever know you guys are all so positive and and so amazing and I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world it is just you guys are seriously I'm just gonna tear up already <laughs> I just I just came back from Gen Beauty I got home last well I guess technically this morning at 1 in the morning you know you think last night but it's technically this morning and so I'm still on such a high so much happened I just finished doing this tutorial I'm about to film my Gen Beauty video that video is going to take some hefty editing because there is so much footage so much to go through bits and pieces to throw in there vlogging material me doing some in front of the camera bit footage, photos to throw in there, like there's just, that video is going to be a lot, there are going to be timestamps in there for you in case you guys care about certain aspects versus other aspects, and I'm just still stuck in this whirlwind of an experience, and you guys have made this possible, and I just owe it to all of you, and Priscilla, you are one of them, so thank you truly from the bottom of my heart and for all of your positivity and your comments and everything. It just means so much to me. So girl, I love you already and thank you so much. I know it takes a lot to hit that hit that subscribe button. I really do know that it takes a lot because I'm, I, I'm also in your shoes. I do the same thing with other subscribers, so I totally get it. And before I jump into what this video is about, because I will probably forget the very beginning segment of it when I start off. <laughs> See, I'm, I struggle in this video because I am just I can't believe this weekend happened. I really can't believe this weekend happened. Uh, my microphone had still been in Kurt's suitcase for the beginning portion of the tutorial and I think I will totally be able to fix it in editing because there is a little bit of extra like tingy background noise and then I noticed it right after I started like the upper part of the eye tutorial. So I think it's gonna be fixable, but if something seems off, it's because my microphone was not at attached to my camera. So just a heads up because obviously I'm not sure until I go sit down and start editing. So this video is on the new Laura Rock Sunset palettes. Today I worked with the Unzipped Ocean Sunset and I show you all three of them because I did pick up all three to put to the test, do looks for you, and just see what they're all about. I decided to go with this one because I figured you guys are probably over warm tones at this point, but all three really truly look amazing, so you'll be able to see all three in a moment. I only swatch this one in this video. I will swatch each of them as each tutorial comes up so feel free to vote whether or not you would like to see the mountain one next or the desert one next I know I still have to work with uh, the Sephora cool tone and warm tone because I've only done the editorial one and then tomorrow Wednesday I have the ABH subculture palette coming in I have a couple other palettes that are still sitting here I've got a lot to work through before I'm off to LA for BeautyCon so there is a lot going on but I'm trying my best to keep up with the palettes and looks coming to you and reviews and just everything so as a little sum up of a review on this baby, I am actually very, very impressed with the quality and performance of this palette. The shades are gorgeous. I wouldn't say that all 10 are highly pigmented. After the first two, the other eight are extremely pigmented. I worked with 
Sorry, I still have allergies now that I'm back in Michigan. I have a runny nose, but I am totally back to normal. I'm not sick anymore. It is amazing. I worked with one, two, three, four, five, six out of the eight as what I consider to be highly pigmented, but six out of 10 of the shades. The first two to me would be like beautiful topper shades or highlight shades. I don't think that they could be standalone eyeshadow shades. There just is not enough pigmentation. Even when you finger swatch it, you can still see your skin through it. And you know when you finger swatch, that is generally when you get the most pigmentation out of a shadow. And the fact that I could still see my skin through it, that kind of is a red flag to me, but they were still both beautiful shades. I would just use it as, you know, kind of patting it as on top of a halo if you wanted just a little extra glitter or highlighting under the brow bone. Even if you wanted a little extra highlight here, my eyes running a little bit. I can't, I'm like so emotional and like happy motions, happy teary eyes. So don't like, don't worry. And all the other shades though are so pigmented. I didn't have fallout. They blended out amazingly well. The pigmentation is so there. Because if you guys have been with me for a while or if you've been wa binged watched, you know that Lorac has been a little bit of a hit and miss. But the last few palettes I have really loved by them and this one is definitely one of them. And when I went in to just tap in, it was like poof, powder kick up back. And that's because they are so creamy and buttery and pigmented. So you really just have to lightly tap in, go in with a light hand and that's all you need to get your brush coated. And when you go in, go in with a light hand, you know, hold your brush a little bit further back and just lightly start working it in and the pigment is going to be there. They are going to blend themselves. They're going to blend like a dream. The colors just mesh well. The color scheming in the palette, on first glance, it may look odd, but they really work in harmony. It is a really beautiful palette. I am so happy that I picked this up. I initially got it solely to just test out for you guys, but it turns out that I really do love it. I'm shocked. It is just creamy, smooth, butterly, buttery, pigmented, easy to blend. The colors are beautiful. I cannot stop drinking enough water. <laughs> I think I'm still dehydrated from the plane, you know, the change in climates, climates. <laughs> I told you guys, I am struggling. I am just like all over the place. But if you guys pick this one, this one up anyway, I have not tested out the other two because you never know. It could be different in the other two palettes, but the, what did I say? This one was the ocean one is definitely a win. I just put my finger in it and smudged it everywhere. The ocean one is certainly a hit. Even if the other two are not so pigmented, the other eight shades are beautiful. They are a little bit heftier for you know, getting 10 shades, but at the end of the day, the pan sizes are large. They're not like itty bitty. I can't see myself really hitting pan on it. You get beautiful transition shades. You don't need to reach for other palettes. I only worked with this palette. I didn't use other palettes to create this look, and it was really awesome. The look was super easy to create, so if you guys want to see how to get this eye look, if you want to see swatches, see my little bit, you know, I give a little tidbit of reviews along the way as I'm working with the shades as well, and all of that goodness, then just keep on watching. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is Tuesday, like 5 p.m., and it has been a whirlwind of a weekend. I got home at 1 a.m. There's so much to tell you. I will save it for my Gen Beauty video. We will get right into this tutorial. I don't know what to pick from these three new Lorac palettes. I have so many new palettes to film with and test out and just... I'm on cloud nine. I have goosebumps. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. I'm going to tear up right now. I can't even, 
<laughs> I can't believe that I got to experience what I got to experience, the new friends I got to make. It was just the new fawns that have joined the community. It has just been incredible. And I need to just stop because this video is about these palettes and I need to save this for the gem beauty video. But I seriously, I just, I don't know what I did to deserve you guys and this experience and the friendships that I made over the past weekend. I, I just, okay, I'm going to stop and I'm going to save it for the video before I am just a crying disaster. But just so you guys know, I, I'm just, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. I just, okay. We're gonna get into these babies. So I, I picked up all three of Lorac's new unzipped sunset palettes, I guess it is, because it's un <laughs> they have their unzipped desert sunset, unzipped mountain sunset, and unzipped ocean sunset. So I wanna put all three to the test for you, swatch them all, and see how they perform. I will swatch each one of them with the videos that I need to the tutorials on. <laughs> I am sleep deprived. I have endorphins running through me. I am so ecstatic. There's just, I'm on like, and I've had no caffeine, no nothing. I am just vibing. I bought this really cute Luxie shirt. Ah! <laughs> yes. I know. I'm sorry, you guys. My excitement is just, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I just, I want this more than ever. I can't even begin to tell you. So let me open up these bad boys and see what they look like. All the boxes came a little bit damaged because I got them from Ulta. By the time I made it to the Lorox website, they were already sold out. So I had to wait for Lor Lorox release. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so off my game. I had to wait for them to be released from Ulta, and Ulta doesn't do the best job of packaging. If you guys buy from them, you know what I'm talking about, but that is okay as long as the palettes themselves have not arrived damaged. So let's see if I can even get into them because I'm just like... <laughs> Okay, this is the ocean. I'll just say ocean mountain. Oh, this is really cute. I like that so much. This is really compact too. And you guys know that Lorac has really been hit and miss for me. Like majorly hit and miss for me. I don't know what it is. Okay, there's no mirror with this one, but this looks really pretty. There's a really nice mint green, some beautiful transition. <laughs> Should I be filming today? I feel so bad. I haven't had videos up for you guys. Normally I film and get videos up for you every single day, but this looks really pretty. So I'm like drawn into salt, all of these. Salt water looks really pretty, obviously sandbar, but all of the transition, <laughs> transition shades look really nice. So that's what this baby looks like. This actually like folds. That's really kind of nifty. I don't think I have any palettes that do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that, but hey. So there's Ocean. I think get a little eye primer. Behind the scenes eye primer. Yay, I have more little deluxe samples to include in giveaway items for you guys. And total side note, I got two swag bags from Gen Beauty. Over the top amazing. I'm keeping one for myself to split amongst me and my stepgirls, but I will be doing a giveaway that will be international for a swag bag to give to you guys. And it is so good. Tarte palette, a full size luminizer from the balm, and I tried this baby out. It's so good. I kept going off topic again. So many goodies coming your way. I'm so excited to give you guys one person's gonna win it, but I'm just, uh, okay, 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 moving on, moving on. Then there is the mountain palette. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so excited. There was so much energy there. I'm just, I'm still, I'm living off of it. I'm so living off of it. This is really pretty too. It does its fun little foldy thing. <laughs> I'm such a kid right now. So here's what the mountain one looks like. This definitely has a little bit more of a fall vibe to it. I like it. And then the last one is the desert one, which is going to be a warm tone. And I'm sure everybody, oh, I didn't even pull the primer out. Can you tell that my mind is just like, <sighs> you guys, I can feel this more than ever. Like just the experience of being there, seeing like Nikita Dragon, Kristen Dominique, <sighs> Manny MUA, Kim Ty, like it was just so surreal. And I just, I loved every second of it, meeting you guys. <sighs> okay. This one to me is the prettiest packaging, like the way the plums are into the burgundies. This is like pretty on its face. Definitely a warm tone. I'm gravitating to this one, but I feel like you guys are probably over it. So how about you leave your votes down below? Which one am I going to go with? I would do desert, but I like I said, I think you guys are probably sick of warm tone. Okay, I will go with ocean. So why don't you vote on whether you want me to use the desert or the mountain next? And then I will go based, on, based off of the votes. I still have to use the Sephora Pro one because I did the editorial. And I think the votes have come in tied between warm and cool tone. But I have to go back and tally those up. So you guys still have a second to go get in last minute votes on cool tone versus warm tone on the Sephora Pro. And then, like I said, there's so many palettes and I still have other palettes that are coming in tomorrow I have the ABH subculture palette coming in so I'll get that one up for you guys as soon as possible as well but you can vote on sunset versus mountain I will do ocean today so I'm I don't even know if I let you guys see what desert looked like long enough I'm sorry I'm all over the place this purple looks stunning same with sunset and I can't even read that. Is it illusion? Yeah, illusion. This is really pretty too. So you guys let me know what you would like me to do and I will gladly do it. Or if there are even certain shades in either of these two babies that you would like me to use first, I would gladly create looks around them. So I'm going to get to swatching the Ocean Sunset Palette and I will be right back. All right, I swatched everything out, but I realized I forgot to read you what the back of it says because I always do that for you guys. That's how much I'm just like, my mind is still in California. <laughs> but th these swatches are so creamy and buttery. I think this is the very first time I've actually been really impressed with the swatches of a Lorac palette. The only thing is that that minty color really seems like an eye topper. There isn't very much pigmentation to it. I really wanted that one to kind of be the start of my eyelid and there is not enough pigmentation there. You can actually see my skin through it and that's with a finger swatch. So there's no way there's going to be enough impact. It's definitely more of a nice little crystally topper, but I know I, I, I've got an idea where I'm going to go with this look. So I'm going to read you this and then I'm going to show you the swatches. So this says, excuse me, I'm still very dry from the plain. Beautiful landscape in LA means stunning sunsets all year long. I so wish I lived in LA. We are chasing the sun with the Lorac Los Angeles Unzipped Sunset Series. The, oh, with the Unzipped Ocean Palette, embrace the call of the sea through richly hued shades inspired by sea foamy ship shores. <laughs> I'm so, uh, 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 that's how I'm feeling right now. Majestic sunsets and the allure, 
alluring mysteries of the deep. Ready for a swim in the surf? That I would not be ready for. Unzipped Ocean Sunset Palette contains 10 highly pigmented, I beg to differ, I would say 8 highly pigmented wearable eyeshadows. Mini behind the scenes eye primer included. Alright, so I'm going to now zoom you guys in so you can see these gorgeous swatches because I really am impressed with these colors. They look beautiful. Alright, so I swatched it this row and then this row. See how these two really are not very pigmented? They are really pretty, but they'd be more of a really beautiful inner corner highlight or even just a highlight in general. So we have Mother of Pearl, salt water, salt water. I feel like I needed to do some mouth exercises before coming on camera today. Ocean Floor, Horizon, and Sea Urchin. That finishes the first row. Then we have Bedrock, Sundown, Sundown. I love. And then we have Sandbar, so beautiful. High Tide, I'm in love. And Sting, Sting, oh my god, Sting Ray. That finishes the last row. I swear, for anybody who is a new fawn, I don't usually struggle this badly. I just, I'm obviously out of my game because it has been nearly a week plus I am just so excited and full of adrenaline right now. So I'm going to go prep and prime my eyes and then try to figure out a look and I will be right back. All right, I'm going to take my Carity E31 and start with Horizon and just start, whoa, that's a lot of powder kickback, but these are really soft, so I did not need to go in that hard and just start building above, the, oh my god, in the crease and above. So far, that was so pigmented, easy to blend, and that was like butter. So first shade. Now I did pick up the Wayne Goss Eye Scent from Beautylish that I want to test out today for the first time. Thank goodness Beautylish has that three easy pay flexible payment plan once you hit 100 bucks. So they're just three evenly split payments over three months because ouch <laughs> and I picked up two of his face brushes as well so I want to see how these work so I'm going to dip into sun down as my next transition shade on the number 16 brush and see how these babies perform this is my first Wayne Goss Wayne Goss shadow brush <laughs> these are so pigmented You guys, you barely have to touch into these. They are amazing. Now I'm going to take the number 17 Wayne Goss brush and take High Tide and work that into the crease and slightly above.
Now I'm going to take my MAC 242 and sandbar and coat this baby well. Milani her up. And put this all over my lid. So beautiful. Now going back to the Wayne Goss brushes, number 20, I'm going to take Bedrock and just put a little bit of this on my outer corner. All right, I'm going to go finish up my face, line, lashes, all of that, and then I will be back to do the lower lash line. All right, I finished up my face, and I think I only put one product to the test for the first time. So I popped on my Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. I love these babies. These are like 10 bucks and you can rewear them over and over again. And for how dramatic, like look at this wisp. They are amazing. You can feel them like a little bit, but they're really like a not their lash. They're super comfortable. So I love these babies. I used my Tom Ford eye defining pen. <laughs> What's new? I used my Smashbox. The legendary in foiled brat it's so funny because I really don't like a lot of Smashbox products but I am obsessed with the be legendary lip products like obsessed I use my urban decay the velvetizer powder because this is amazing what's new also what's new I use my Estee Lauder double wear maximum cover foundation this one I'm actually going to be probably sticking with I'm not really sure I haven't made up my mind. I might be using a few different foundations because I just did a mini video putting the J1 Jelly Pack primer to the test and I'm going to be using this for, oh my gosh, a long time. I want to see if this gives results because it's like a mask. It has skin elasticity ingredients in it, pore smoothing ingredients in it, and a lot of times those type of ingredients take like, you know, time for the benefits to kick in. So I know that this baby wears, like this is what I wore throughout my entire stay in San Francisco. That's all I wore to Jam Beauty. This is like my ride or die foundation. There's no flashback. There's SPF of 15 in it. It's full coverage. It just looks flawless. I'm so obsessed with this foundation. So I know this foundation doesn't need that extra help. So I think I need to cycle through some foundations to really put this to the test. So I haven't quite decided yet like how to go about really testing this out but I did try this out today and it really is an amazing primer I just don't know about the skin benefits to it but it really is a good primer if you're just looking for an amazing primer and you get a lot of product in it I also realized that I am now totally in love with the benefit uh, precisely my brow pencil. I'm in the shade number three. I was so hardcore for my Flower Beauty one for the longest time. I wore it right down to nothing. I then used the Benefit Goof Proof brow pencil for a long time, which I really do like, but <laughs> spooly side. This one just has a much thicker tip to it, and since I am not somebody who has naturally thick eyebrows, I picked the skinnier one up, and this one is so little, and 
easy to get like right up in there and I'm not somebody who likes to like really do full brows and color them in, color them in like you know big time. Uh, this has been my ride or die for weeks and weeks and weeks now and I really can't see myself deviating from this one. Some amazing product has to come out to beat this one. Like once I find a product that I love, you know like the Tarte Shape Tape, like this baby, um, I tend to really stick to it. So this is what I'm using now just for a little update for you guys and I'm just so in love with that I can't even tell you. Uh, I also use my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Again, this is my perfect bronzer shade. It really is. Whether or not I'm self-tanned or not, because right now I'm at my whitest, I just have not had time to self-tan, so I definitely need to get another one of these when it's re-released next summer again. I hope I can grab another one because I didn't realize how much I would love this. I use my NYX Ombre Blush in Mauve Me. Again, guys, I know I'm going quickly, but if anybody who is newly tuning in, I do list everything down below, so don't worry. Uh, today I tested out the Mary Lou Man... 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 Manizer? Manizer. 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 <laughs> AKA the Luminizer uh, Highlighter by The Balm. And I love this. Look how pretty of a glow this gives. It's such a nice champagne glow. If anything, this may actually be a pretty darn close dupe for the super expensive Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. I'm going to have to kind of test it out, one on each cheek. But once I was applying it, I was like, this has a very similar tone to... The only problem with this packaging is if you have nails, I've only used it today, and it has taken a toll on the corner of my thumb. I don't like the packaging of how it opens. The compact itself is really nice, but just ladies with nails, beware. It's going to take a toll on your inner corner. But it really does have a similar tone to it when it's applied on the cheeks. I know it does not in the pan, but to me this has a similar vibe. So I'm going to test it out, one on each side, in another video just to see. And I used my Ardency In Monster Pencil in Black for my waterline and tightline. And I think that is everything. So I can zoom you guys in and we can get going on finishing up the lower lash line. So starting with my Wayne Goss number 20 brush, I'm going to take Horizon and smoke that beneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use the same brush and take the sun down and smoke that beneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this Luxie number 111 mini flat angled brush and dip into high tide and put that beneath the lower lash line. Now for a little extra pop of color, I'm going to take my Lime Crime pencil brush and dip into Stingray and put that nice and tight to the lower lash line.
Alright, this makeup look is complete. I'm just going to go get dressed and I will be right back. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that this was helpful and informative and that you guys like the eye look that I created because I really am happy with this palette. I didn't know what to expect, but if Laura keeps going along with this formulation, I think I'm going to become a fan and not so skeptical of buying palettes from them because I think it was two palettes that I bought from them initially that I just was not impressed with. The pigmentation wasn't there, the blendability wasn't there, each shadow kind of blended into the next, and it just was really subpar to other palettes, but the price point was like high-end, and it just... You know, I wasn't impressed, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, but then the last three palettes were amazing, and they seemed to really be on a roll for me, so I don't know if I had just picked up a bad batch of the other two or what it was, but I am absolutely loving what Lorac has been putting out, so I'm giving them mad props, and it just gives such ease for amazing looks that you can create. So I'm excited about it right down to the packaging and ease of being able to travel with it and just have this and looks to go by. I, you know, I do wish that there was a mirror included in it, but at the end of the day, I travel with a mirror and I keep a mirror in my obviously vanity. So to me, it's not the end of the world. What's amazing is that it does fold over and it's so easy to work with. So that's totally fine by me and I will take it because the quality of the shadows really is what matters and the quality is certainly there. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, please share it, please subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are, I love all of you so much and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.